I just feel like, you know, a lot of artists coming up, um, unity is key, you know, um, and, and building your career organically. I feel like that's something very important. A lot of us, even I made this mistake too, like, it's like you try to find that hit record and put it out there and blow up overnight. It could happen, but the likelihood is, is very low, very unlikely to happen. And so you want to build a fan base organically so that not everybody that listens to your music is a fan, right? Not everybody that likes your your your, your video and, and leaves a comment with the fire emojis and all that, not, not all of them are going to pay money to buy tickets to go see you perform live. So you want to build a fan base that's going to be loyal to you, and that comes with being true to yourself. And that's those are words that I really live by, and I'm very passionate about that. Like, it's not something I'm ashamed of. Like, I feel like a lot of people that follow me now and, and defend me and support me or whatever, if anything came up, a lot of those people have been following me for years. They've been following my work. They saw me struggle and come up and fail and all that. So those are the people that 20 years from now, when I do some reunion tour or whatever, they're going to be the same people coming out to see me. So I feel like that's how you build proper fan base and build a career, doing it organically, learn from your mistakes and allow people to give you advice and criticize you. I think like bridging that gap needs to, there's effort that needs to be had from both sides. Like as, as some people that are older or with more experiences in life, you got to be humble enough to realize that maybe your way is not the only way. And you got to like, you got to be more welcoming to the youth. Cause a lot of times if you're just hard hitting and you're stern and, and whatever, it's going to push people away from you. Right. But the youngsters at the same time, you got to be open to receive the criticism and learn from it. And if you find that person that's willing to like be there for you and give you advice, that's the blessing. That's not something to be ashamed of. And I'm, I'm saying this because like, like we're talking about the strife and I had a conversation with Odyssey just the other day, you know, and he was like, listen, I'm talking to you, not just from like an artistic uh, perspective, but from like a brotherly relationship too. And, and he was like, listen, you, Anytime you got any questions, my line is open. And I'm, he said, look at me like I'm you from the future trying to prevent you from making the same mistakes I made in my career. Because I know like you want to develop yourself and it's true. And, and I took that in. I wasn't, I, I'm not ashamed of that. Like I'm proud of that. You know what I mean? And I should be, I'm grateful for it because not a lot of people have that in their life. And so be humble enough to take the criticism and grow from it and become a different person. And I think Muhammad Ali said this quote. He's like, if if you if you're not if you're the same person you were, like 30 years ago, you lost 30 years of your life or something something to that extent, right? And so, growing as as a human being, as a as a person, you really got to humble yourself and and allow the right people to criticize you so you could grow and become better. Not even 30 years, because a lot of people might look at that and be like, what's well, a long? Even like 10 days. Like whatever time period, like you just got to constantly try to grow and become a better person in life. And whether that's through your craft, whether that's through your personal relationships, whatever it is, you know, growth is, is overall growth that we're talking about. And you got to be humble in life. I mean, it's about growth and, and seeing yourself develop and everything. And, and, and it makes you feel good at the same time. Like somebody that may may kind of like looked at you as, 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 as just the, the young guy that's trying to to make something out of himself and now they're working with you directly that shows the respect they have for you now because they can see the growth you know you gotta give you gotta give you gotta give you know what i mean and when you give i really believe that like when you do good it's gonna return to you in one in some in some form it may not be financial or it might not be whatever but i feel like you always gonna get back what you give out so if, if, if you got information and you you hold on to something that can possibly help someone else why hold on to it and keep it to yourself? Always just give, you know, keep giving. I, I really believe in that.